very very important session in this particular session i am going to explain about how the anthropology course is going to be and how you should and i should both sir why i sir only you you should only teach we will not we will be like this only but we want rank you should also change parallelly i should also deliver both it's it should be from two sides one thing you are you need to understand that civil services examination whereby i am openly declaring coaching centers or mentorships are catalysts they help you they support you they try to get you rank but it doesn't mean that complete it will be in the hands of teacher it will not be in the hands of teacher but at here at vishnu ias academy we are committed so much ethically as well as honestly you don't know how much hard work i put personally for my anthropology as well as a team as a team how much we put that is the open thing but you should also contribute you should also work hard that you have to remember from outside and here outside teachers also good but their contribution might be up to 20% but here the contribution will be 30% the 10% change will be there the 10% excess will be there but however outside teachers also good here also we are also good but we put more energy we believe so first declaration disclaimer disclaimer is it should be a win win situation you should work hard i will work hard both should work hard number 1 number 2 i should be consistent you should be consistent i should be consistent you should be consistent if these two things are combining then compulsory we will have a very good result so this particular session is all about how the anthropology is going to be the course details and how to get 300 plus marks how to get 300 plus marks again i am telling you 300 plus marks is 100% magic 300 plus marks is 100% magic with huge experience i am telling you of my personal experience 300 plus marks is a magic it's a magic number central government may government banane ke liye what is a magic number 273 273 is the magic number similarly getting 300 plus is also a magic number why because you will get rank because of scoring 300 plus marks but that magic what is the stick sir abra gadabra what is the mantra any stick magic wand is your hard work is your consistency how sir this lady uma harati this is one of the result of our hard work in some or the other way directly or indirectly she was consistent she was consistent fifth attempt she got fifth attempt she got in spite of having a very good english medium background you have to understand this in spite of having very good english medium background number 2 studied from iit hyderabad but still she took fifth attempt and five attempts she was consistent she was very very consistent i know from third attempt onward third attempt fourth attempt fifth attempt i know her very personally three three years i know because of her consistency because of her hard work she got this throne called as all india rank it is not easy for her it is never easy for you for the first day itself i want to del- tell you that i want to declare you that examination is tough competition is very high examination is tough competition is very high where you are standing you have to calculate but in that calculation anthropology will play a major role how sir this lady nidhi pai she got 325 marks she got 325 marks in anthropology in her third attempt second attempt, second attempt she went to upsc interview but her marks was 226 then she approached me she approached me the third attempt only not in the first and second how to do sir 226 marks i got what i should do nothing you do come to the classroom program i will take care but only one thing i told her be consistent same thing i told be consistent and she was consistent for 14 tests 14 tests properly she had written all the class all the tests 14 tests third floor we have reading room at least now acs are there at that time no acs also power was not there fan was not there she was writing answer i got sympathy and i went chalo leave it go home and write answer but no sir i came for exam i will write and go that is commitment and resulted in 325 marks and he got all india rank 110 bad luck got less marks in gs if not she would be all india rank 1 325 marks means huge number means with examples i want to show you that civil services examination is not a cake walk it's not easy 100% not easy so you should be committed first you should be committed first you should first declare yourself you have to declare yourself that i am going to be going to do hard work smart work consistently the favorite word for me is consistency in any field in any field in any field if you want to become a scene master no background sir how i can become a scene master at least comedian what do you do go near studio catch the gate every time people look into whoever are going whoever are coming for 3 years 
one fellow will notice this person i am seeing from long back he is standing then he will ask the driver sir he is waiting for some opportunity so so much consistent from 3 years one location she is coming give him a give him or her a chance because of consistency try this but for that you have to put 3 years of time try this you will get result it's consistency it's consistency edison how many times he failed in making bulb 99 or some but 100th time he had discovered how we should not make bulb 100th time he discovered how to make a bulb it is consistency any story any story you take it's all about consistency first thing in anthropology or in civil services preparation you have to be super serious you have to be super serious not serious super serious if not money 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 kya hai money to fir se hum we can earn money money is nothing time you are investing time very very important time your youth your young time if you put the same energy elsewhere you can create wonders that time you are investing in this upsc field how we should be when we throw a ball onto the wall in return 10 balls should come towards us in that way we have to calculate that should be the calculation i am throwing one ball means the ball should 10 ball should come back 10 ball should bounce back that should be our calculation money money will come and go narendra modi was enjoying last 9 10 years now unpredictable it became 2024 elections rahul gandhi is struggling since 20 years to become prime minister little bit hope came anything can happen consistency with this i will give you some basic things basic pro forma basic commandments which me or you everyone to get success in the life we have to follow this me or you anyone before that i will tell one story the relationship between a teacher and a student should not be like a fish and fisherman but should be like a fish and water dronacharya and arjuna dronacharya and arjuna you know dronacharya got famous we are talking about dronacharya now in mahabharata why you know we don't know then why we are talking about dronacharya we are talking about dronacharya because of arjuna dronacharya is famous because of arjuna every teacher want to become famous by how by the success of a student there is no bad teachers there is no bad teachers why because every man is a human being every man is a human being is men and women both together man every human being is a good human being dronacharya is famous because of arjuna so every teacher want his student to be successful why because directly if student is successful the name will be for the teacher that means first you have to trust whom your teacher your mentor trusting teacher why because something he is telling here you are listening for 2 hours without trust uh, something he is telling he took fees no arjuna is powerful arjuna is greater arjuna paid his fees arjuna paid his guru dakshana to the dronacharya but who is more popular arjuna because of arjuna dronacharya is popular that should be that will be the relationship between the teacher and the student first trust the teacher first trust the mentor for that i will give you some commandments in the toughest examination of the world for me according to one report it is the second toughest examination in the world the first they tell it as france civil service it is the second toughest examination in the world according to one of the report first maintain a diary in school we used to have diary yes or no in school we used to have diary coming 4:30 mother will take the diary first no water nothing first it what teacher wrote what is homework after checking all the homework then she will go go fresh up eat something and come and sit for what all she told what all the teacher told in the school everything is written in the diary and homework daily 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 we have to do our homework at least for your civil services preparation aaj main ye padhai kiya aaj main ye padhai kiya isme ye wala answers likha isme ye wala mcq se 5 minutes you will have a very good accountability if you don't clear your examination also you will not have regret yes sir no if you don't clear also you will not regret why because you you had put your 100% effort then you can throw it on god or like mentor teacher he didn't taught properly but you will be happy maintain a diary first step maintain a diary not about your personal life just about yourself what you studied today 
and what you are going to study from tomorrow and tomorrow this is my plan in this i executed this after one week you will change you will see a change within one week you will see the change how you are studying how you are performing so first thing my dear students i am telling you maintain a diary after you get result no that diary will be the bible for india people start following they will also start writing for that first you have to write your own diary mention a diary that is in schools that is the reason today also i remember what my teacher told in my school not in my engineering yes sir no you are also the same whatever teachers told in the school today also we remember you know your english language your grammar your sentence formation is because of your school education not because of now which you are preparing now our basics are strong means we will be strong our basics are in school and in school why we are strong because we maintained a diary progress card was there progress card is there or not what we used to do signature brother signature take chocolate please keep signature you will keep same like my father progress card was there diary is there so first you maintain your diary which i recommend you very strongly are your progress you should know who will know so first maintain the diary 100% you will change transformation within one week number 1 next why you are preparing for civil services why you are preparing for civil sir everyone have several several answers for example quickly i will ask why you are preparing for civil services ah direct answer better career choice maharathi also if you see the where she had conducted on the here platform someone asked a student her to her why you choose civil services she didn't told civil service this and all directly should better career choice means what is there in the mind heart it came directly career choice means you are you are seeing something growth some growth how you are from this position you are seeing something big means what it is growth whether growth is easily possible with your growth enemies will grow or not you tell me with your growth enemies will grow or not growth means challenge growth means you are welcoming problems growth means you are sacrificing your basic needs growth means you are sacrificing your happiness growth means you are wishing something which is impossible for you you are wishing something big you are wishing something where your family is unable to give you but you want to acquire it growth growth will not come without challenge challenges will be there when you are growing if i am growing whether enemies will grow with me or not 100% ksr is the chief minister of telangana whether he don't have enemies lot of enemies he had narendra modi have death threat is yes or no narendra modi have death threat he is growing so challenges are increasing then obviously you will also have challenge what challenge i will have sir first how you are up to now how you are up to now you need to change the first big thing is you have to change mark po up to now 9 o'clock i used to get up sir then i used to do brush up then 10 o'clock then breakfast then i will it's around one round i will go then again i will do lunch then i will sleep then evening i will go for first show then if possible second show also then i will sleep then again early morning 9 o'clock one type of story second type of story morning to evening chatting same message for four 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 friends same message messaging 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 change that is first challenge it's a challenge you know this many days you are like this suddenly you are changing is it not a challenge it is a challenge first thing when you are aspiring for growth obviously there will be challenges first challenge is cha- first challenge is changing number 1 number 2 second challenge family family what sometimes family might support sometimes family might not support financial problem sometimes finance might support us finance might not support us number 4 english some for some people english might be a challenge number 5 absence of peer group you don't have the peer group fifth challenge sixth challenge peer pressure is preparing for civil services 
peer pressure people are expectations are increasing on you challenge people are expecting on you 2023 prelims you wrote csat question paper it is more than cat examination everyone is thinking that he will clear prelims he will clear mains he will clear interview he will become ias officer you are not clearing csat paper only peer pressure these are all what challenges they mentioned 10th class standard in the notification they are giving phd level csat question paper i am from biology background or from regional language paper and the csat paper is so big and they made compulsory first i should get 66 marks here then they will evaluate gs paper these all are what challenges first you have to understand it might be any challenge kaun si bhi challenge ho challenge ho to growth hoga challenge nahi hai to growth nahi hoga rahul gandhi born with silver spoon how many challenges everyone commented we also commented everyone commented everyone he made him like sardar after sardar the next comedian is rahul gandhi but he put lot of he he fought back now he is talking properly chandrababu naidu son also second sardar is chandrababu naidu son he also fought back now he is growing means that those that challenge he didn't feared he learned he educated himself he started having public speaking he started delivering the speeches properly with common sense he is growing so growth will not be with challenge second acceptance if you want to grow you will have challenge second thing third 365 10 days one day batting it was earlier when you are in graduation one day batting or not one day batting or not one day batting how many papers those many battings six papers are there six days batting 10 days 10 exams are there 10 days batting now 365 days every day 10 hours batting that is a difference and again i am telling you some rankers some toppers might told you i studied for 6 hours 7 hours don't believe it might be their third attempt or fourth attempt but remember it's your first attempt you have to put 10 hours obviously when you reach third and fourth attempt when you are strong then you can put 6 hours but beginning you should put 10 hours sir up to now it was only one day batting or micro xerox jnt affiliated colleges micro xerox in socks one day batting also improper but now 365 days every day 10 hours of batting that you have to identify 10 days in your diary 10 hours in your diary how much time you fix 6 am to 8 am or 7 am to 9 am anthropology class then 9 am to 9 30 am i write one answer 9 30 to 10 i will do breakfast 10 to 12 i will do newspaper 12 to 1 i will do lunch 1 to 2 i will take rest 2 to 6 i will do my gs classes or my gs revision or my gs studies then 6 to 8 i will do my answer writing practice then 8 to 9 i will do my dinner then 9 to 11 i will do quick revision what i studied today 11 o'clock i will how how relaxed you feel you know 9 o'clock you will get very good sleep very happy satisfied sleep you will get what is success first getting sleep is success yes or no first success is getting sleep maintain diary 365 days 10 hours but upsc 365 days every day this is fact you have to identify it this is fact 100% fact you have to work minimum 10 hours maximum 12 hours including your classes and your self study self study is also equally important my dear students self study is also equally important go to the class what the teacher is telling anywhere everywhere anywhere or everywhere wherever whatever the teacher is telling listen then you come back do your homework do your own self study two should go hand in hand classes and self study for 10 hours how many days 365 days third understanding it is not one day batting now it is test match not for five days but this test match for how many days 365 days first you have to understand that and if you want heaven jannat then what you have to do i should join i say sir heaven will be seen only by that person who dies if you die then only you can see jannat means you will be successful when you keep your heart and soul when you keep everything into it then you will see the heaven then you will see the success 
to see the heaven how you have to die in the same the same way if you want to see the success you have to put your heart and soul success is equal to heaven death is equal to your hard work only those people can enjoy the success who put the consistent hard work this is this is one statement which is taken from mahabharata yes jannat usi ko milega wo mar jayega success usi ko mil jayega that person who keep best of his best efforts if you want success you have to put like i'm do or die type yes 100% do or die type eh? 100% do or die why because see this much time young people you are keeping this much of investment time investment lot of expectations parents are expecting you should have this type of philosophy in your mind do or die this time 2024 i have to crack it and for that what i have to do sir first thing first thing what you have to do these are the most important things you have to leave samsara sir i didn't got married i don't have samsara up to now the ecosystem your family your friends who are not related to upsc your relatives your habits your enjoyments your luxuries you have to leave the ecosystem you have to leave the samsara then people obviously will think when you leave and when you don't talk to anyone this fellow is very proud fellow he won't talk only he will not tell me good morning let them tell you know upsc people will get bad names lot of bad names upsc people people will scold them in back said this person he didn't got rank only now he is behaving like he got rank now only he is not talking after rank what he will do it's, it's inevitable you have to leave the samsara any person who got success he will leave the ecosystem he will be alone and alone he will be lucky people get same type of people lucky people will get if that type of people you get you are lucky that becomes a peer group for upsc you have to leave the samsara and you have to be very 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 practical these are the things which you have to keep in your mind before starting your journey these are the most important things attitudinal things behavioral things then you have to jump decided then again you should not look back i am telling you in the very first attempt in the very second attempt i am telling you don't go for plan b not required after second attempt then think about plan b but first attempt and second attempt go directly do go directly don't think about plan b 100% when you don't have plan b also you will be forced to study sometimes that is also helps that also helps you i am telling you plan b is important but after second attempt but for the first attempt and second attempt you should not have plan b agar banna hai to ias banna hai agar banna hai to ias banna hai if not if not i will think after two hours i will think after two attempts now you don't think about plan b when you think about plan b you will be feel tensed in your life two years you have to categorize for civil services best of the best you have to give if you don't go if you don't get it get out that's it you should not move not you should not be more than two years and that two years you have to give best of the best 2024 should be the final attempt if it is first attempt if not 2025 should be the last attempt that's it you know this is very dangerous field this is very very dangerous nasha this is like nasha like drinks 90 ml means it, it gives nasha when you are studying it gives nasha so you want to continue years will go on expectations will increase parents will be thinking about you people will be thinking about you so you should have a clear clarity sir two attempts i will give the best attempts i will give and for that when you are starting now please keep this in your mind these are the four things very categorically i thought it will help you so the first thing is maintain a diary second thing is when you are growing challenges will come when challenges are coming means you are growing when challenges are coming means you are growing it is not one day batting it is 365 days test match heaven will be seen only by the person who dies in the same way success will be that to that person who does lot of hard work and finally you have to leave the samsara yes you cannot balance both i am telling you you cannot in the beginning in the very first attempt and second attempt i am telling you you have to leave the samsara you should leave about your parents also yes 
because uh, this is very big tension already this is very big tension we want another tension huh? every day mother father or relatives telling all these things unnecessary why because already you had a very big headache on your head so leave the samsara leave the ecosystem in this way we have to practice and first you have to understand humanities and we are entering into the field of humanities which is called as anthropology it's humanities you have to understand it is not science it is humanities humanities comp humanities completely depends upon how you write science will not depend upon how you write science depends upon how you execute whether hence proved or not is science however it is it is proved or not is science humanities is about how you write how you express understand first humanities it might be polity it might be economy it might be geography it might be history it might be anthropology these all are what humanity subjects humanity subjects can be expressed only by writing humanity subjects you cannot make science why because humanities is not science so humanities means what part of art what is art how you design what is art how you design it's about answer writing so first understand your anthropology is humanities humanities means you have to work on your art what is art writing with this what is our approach with respect to anthropology i will tell you what is anthropology so before that what is our approach i will tell you anthropology is fully humanities oriented in anthropology what all we study in anthropology what all we study in anthropology we have paper 1 paper 2 paper 1 paper 2 in paper 1 what we study we study evolution of man general evolution of man india first you understand so first we will know evolution of man how the man is been evolved biologically and physically from australopithecines homo erectus neanderthal homo sapiens the words are new but once you repeat it four times it will become your familiar word so don't fear with respect to words the meanings are very very simple so first in paper 1 what we will understand means evolution of man biologically and physically across the world the same topic will be in paper 2 by the name called as evolution of man in india rama pitikas shiva pitikas narmada man from this three one question is 100% guarantee like indus valley civilization or buddhism or jainism in prelims damn sure from rama pitikas or shiva pitikas or narmada man so evolution of man we will understand in the world see when we are understanding in the world whether we will have curiosity or not oh ho in the world in this way the development happened then how the development happened in india so this we will be studying in paper 2 in the same way this side archaeology general archaeology india archaeology there will be stages of human cultural evolution human cultural evolution first is human biological evolution second is human cultural evolution so that means what we will be studying in anthropology two concepts we will be studying if someone asks you what is anthropology all about anthropology is nothing but studying about man biologically and culturally studying about man biologically and culturally is anthropology so first is evolution of man biological evolution of man in the world biological evolution of man in india again biology means not liver blood kidneys not all these things just how the growth happened physical growth how how he became erect posture how bipedalism in that way we will be understanding second archaeology cultural evolution archaeology is about cultural evolution in the process of stages of cultural evolution like paleolithic what are all the tools again paleolithic is divided into lower middle upper mesolithic what are the tools neolithic what are the tools tools are the examples of culture yes or no see i wear this pink shirt and i came here if i came with a big very big turban from top to bottom whether you will understand my culture or not he might be dubai sheik yes or no if i come with a small topi here then you will understand i am like a jewish person if i come with a cross mark on my then you will understand what, what culture i am so it is a culture what we use what we eat what we wear 
what are our beliefs are culture so that things archaeology in material forms what type of tool i used very rugged tool rough tool primitive man then i excavated on the top i got very sharp end tool very small size oh man evolved why because in the deeper 700 meters deeper very rugged tool i got 300 meters i got very sophisticated tool whether i will understand or not man evolved or not so that uh, by studying the material remains we will be understanding the evolution of culture of man in which topic archaeology so biological evolution of man and cultural evolution of man in paper 1 general in paper 2 india first you understand this then deeper culture which is called as socio cultural anthropology deeper culture what is culture what is society in society how marriages happen how family develops how the kinship kinship means relatives how the kinship system came then what is economy for this people what is political system for this people what is their belief system religion we follow it or not in our life we know marriage we know family we know relatives we know what is our economic system we know what is our political system we know our belief system who is a superpower religion god several gods which god that religious god show show culture my culture means what what type of marriage i follow what type of family system i follow what type of economic system i follow for example if i am doing hunting gathering whether you will understand my culture or not if i am having band like group only 10 members group will be there no democracy you will understand my culture or not if i am worshiping atmas if i am worshiping souls you will understand my culture or not oh this person is not worshiping modern gods like lord krishna or lord jesus or lord allah means he is worshiping primitive gods culture so understanding of culture so the syllabus is very properly neatly they they had mentioned biological evolution then cultural evolution first is biology came after biology only no culture will come biology came baby born baby born with culture or baby born with body baby born with body baby born with biology then slowly father told mother told this is a culture beta means culture came in that culture what are all there these are all there so this is unit 1 here also unit 1 then socio culture anthropology 2 3 4 5 in this two again you have five sub units 2.1 culture 2.2 society 3 2.3 marriage 2.4 family 2.5 kinship 3 economic organizations 4 political organization 5th religion first step after going home you have to by heart your syllabus so 2 3 4 5 is what socio culture anthropology understanding culture in deeper then there is something called as anthropological thought anthropological thought now see so you generally understood in second third fourth fifth unit to what are culture what are the components of culture now who designed this culture now science oh this is culture but you will get a doubt we are man we are human beings so some we evolved like this like this like this then you will you will question then how the first man came similarly here in sixth unit we question how culture came i understood what is culture i understood what is marriage i understood what is religion in 60 unit i question so in second third fourth fifth unit i understood what is marriage what is family what is culture what is economic systems religion etc sixth unit i will be questioning so how this culture came how this marriage came then anthropologists will come hey you wait eb dealer culture came like this religion came like this then malnaviski will come. you come here now then malnaviski will come malnoviski will tell every culture is having some function oka pani oka purpose if that purpose is useful for man for satisfaction of human needs then that culture will stay functionalism then another man came rc brown and levi strauss they tell no 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 some things will be there it doesn't have any function also but still it exists for example father is not paying the fees of the son whether the 
structure will come to an end why because father is not doing his duty father is not doing his function whether the relation will come to an end no so it's not only the function structure is also important then other man, other man culture materialism marvin harris will come everything is material another man will come symbolic and interpretative theory symbols are important symbols will show the culture another man will come Co taylor and conklin cognitive theories they come and tell no no culture is present in the minds of the people a terrorist might be going to a temple but in his mind his original intention his original culture will be there so where the original culture is present in the minds of the people so if you want to know the culture where you have to dig in the minds of the people we have to understand what is present in the mind so for the 2 3 4 5 when the questions were been asked by the people the answers were been given by whom anthropology what answers they gave is anthropological thought answers are given by eb taylor answers are given by diffusionism answers are given by functionalist answers are given by structural functionalist answers are given by culture materialist answers are given by symbolic and interpretative theories answers are given by conklin for the questions which we are asking oh ho up to now in second unit third unit fourth unit fifth unit i understood culture came like this but these people are telling like this so you will understand you will apply the anthropological thought in second third fourth fifth unit then seventh unit this is unit number 6 i am searching for next slide oh okay so we understood paper 1 paper 2 isn't it we understood paper 1 paper 2 unit 1 evolution archaeology unit 1 evolution archaeology india general then we have 2 3 4 5 then we have socio cultural anthropology then 6 is anthropological thought for the questions which were been asked after 50 unit answers are given by 60 unit then 70 units people will tell that culture is language culture is language csc csat results came now upsc csc prelims okay seventh unit is about language and culture so people will believe that culture is part of language so the relationship between language and culture the relationship between language and culture we will be studying in 7th unit 8th unit field works 8th unit field works now you see now some people told culture is this concept family is this concept kinship is this concept now a question came how this people told how this people came to a conclusion so they came to a conclusion by doing field works some scientific evidences so eighth unit so sixth in order to substantiate this thought in order to substantiate this thought in eighth unit what happened field works so they did field works and they proved what they told is correct what they told is correct then here second unit third unit fourth unit fifth unit second unit now we are going into india what is population studies what is demographic studies about indian population understanding about indian population third unit caste system so indian population what is a big disease caste system so everything is in caste system fourth i am sure that 3 years 4 years back 5 years back you don't know what is anthropology now you are taking anthropology as an optional so how this anthropology has grown big as a discipline in india that we will be studying in fourth unit anthropology as a discipline how it grown who are the people responsible for the growth of anthropology then fifth unit talks about this 2 3 4 5 is called as indian society in this fifth unit we will be studying about indian village indian society where is the indian society located indian, indian villages where is society society is village so fifth is original indian society we study everything about villages how in indian villages 
caste system is there how in indian villages dominant caste is there how in indian villages sanskritization westernization modernization concepts are there how a agrarian is getting impacted because of globalization how agrarian is getting impacted because of liberalization privatization corporatization these all things we will be discussing in 15 minutes you tell me whether you know it or not caste system you know you know about caste system you know about Indian farmers problem, you know about Indian village system, these all things we will be discussing in 2, 3, 4, 5. The thing is, to get more than 300 plus marks, this Indian villages should be written in the format of anthropological example. Anthropologist name we have to use and we have to substantiate it. Who is anthropologist studied about caste system? Who is anthropologist studied about Sanskritization, who is anthropologist studied about westernization, who is anthropologist studied about this, then you will get marks. Generally, if you write farmers are committing suicides, farmers productivity is less, what you studied in general science, if you write here, you will get out of 10, 2 marks. Then overall for 500 marks, you will get 200 marks. Sir, I wrote everything, but I got only 200 marks. It is general studies answer, no? What type of answer you should write? Anthropology answer. When your answer will become anthropology, when you add anthropologist to your answer. According to this anthropologist, these are the reasons for the farmer suicides. According to this anthropologist, because of this reasons, the productivity is less. Some anthropologists are recommended this. Then your answer will become anthropology answer. If not general studies answer, anyone can write in these questions. But you will get marks when you add anthropologist names. Then sixth unit, sixth, seventh, eighth is tribal India. Ninth also up to some extent. Sixth, we study about tribal demography, tribal problems, tribal demography tribal problems, everything about tribals across India. But when we, when you will get one mark extra means, when you are writing tribal India problems, you are adding one point from world tribals also. When you are writing answer for a tribal India problem, but you are also giving an example, you are also referring to world tribal example, then you will get one mark extra. Why? Because you are having more knowledge on tribals. So, in tribal India questions, three things you have to remember. One is Indian tribal example, world tribal example, third anthropologist also we have to bring here. Seventh unit, seventh unit we discuss about displacement, the very big problem which is faced by anthropologists, sorry, the very big problem which is faced by tribals are displacement. Polavaram Dam in Andhra Pradesh. Sardar Sarovar Dam in Gujarat on the river called as Narmada, Idhuki Dam in Kerala, Sri Arikota, Sharp rocket launching station is a very classic example for displacement of 60,000 Yanadi tribal community. Balasur is famous for missile testing center, very famous. It is now a missile testing center for a DRDO. Once upon a time, it is a tribal community, Kutia Kond, nearly 50,000 people used to live. Dongria Kond people who got displaced because of Vedanta Mining Company and POSCO Company. Pong Dam, which is a, a, a miracle for Indian irrigation system, Pong Dam, nearly 5 lakhs tribal people got displaced because of it. Recent example of Kaleshwaram Dam in Telangana state. It also resulted in displacement of 40,000 Gondu tribal population. Grand trunk road from North Andaman to South Andaman, a road was being laid because of which nearly 30,000 Jarva people were being dis displaced. How to answer them? In anthropologist way, we have to write an answer. So, that we will be doing in 7th unit. 8th unit, impact of this tribal people have their own religion like what? Worship of souls. Tribal people have their own gods, tribal people have their own religion, yes or no? Tribal people will follow our Lord Krishna, Lord Allah or Lord 
Jesus or they have their own gods. But nowadays what happened? The tribal religions got impacted because of Hinduism. The tribal religions got impacted because of Christianity. Northeast India once upon a time. Not once upon a time, tribal, Northeast India is a tribal belt. Nearly 250 tribal communities are there only in Northeast India. Out of 250 according to the recent report of Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, 200 tribal communities of Northeast India converted to Christianity. Means, what is, give me one example of culture, whether we can think culture is religion. Means, culture is a very big thing, in that religion is there or not. In that religion is there or not. Means, whether they are changing religion, means whether they are changing their culture. Changing culture is small thing or big thing. If you come to central India, Chota Nagpur Plateau, Santals, Orans, Munda tribal community, they got transformed, they got converted into Hinduism. There also they got converted to Hinduism. Kerala, the tribal communities, Malabba tribal community got converted into Muslims. Means whether they are whether they are losing their identity or not. Culture is identity, religion is identity, whether they are losing their original identity or not. With examples we have to write. So, in 8th unit we will be understanding impact of this mainstream religions on tribal religions, impact of Hinduism on tribal religion, impact of Christianity on tribal religion, impact of Islam on tribal religion. Then last ninth unit, social issues, communalism, ethnic conflicts, what happened in Manipur recently? What happened in Manipur recently? That you will write as an example. Manipur recently, there was a conflict between the tribal communities. Manipur, ethnic conflicts. Conflict between the two tribal communities is called as ethnic conflicts. Secularism, regionalism. Now, what is happening in Kalistan? One hero born and he was being arrested. Amrit Pal Singh, regionalism. Very good. Amrit Pal Singh, a hero born and immediately arrested. If he were escaped, if he was successful in bringing Kalistan, he would be the next Prime Minister of Kalistani country. Regionalism, very big problem. Northeastern states, they are asking for separate country. Nagaland is asking for greater Nagalim, regionalism problem. That all we will be discussing in 90 unit. The same topics are present in GS1 Indian society, the same topics. If you had a proper command on paper to you know, you have proper command on Indian society. In GS1, three modules are there, history, geography and Indian society. And Indian society is in, completely is in anthropology people, completely. Then coming this side, 8th unit, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. Now, 8th I am an engineer. People will think this is biology, this is not biology. If not, the subject name is called as biology and anthropology. No? What is the subject name? Anthropology. anthropology. If biology is there, then the subject name will be called as anthropology and biology. Then why they kept as anthropology? Means anthropology is not biology. What will be there? Ninth unit. 9.1, 9.2, 9.3, 9.4, 9.5. Nine point six, nine point seven, nine point eight units will be there. In nine point one, nine point two, nine point three, what we studied means what we study means father is suffering with genetical disease, mother is somewhere, he kept it silent and he told all big big things. Didn't clear the prelims, but he told that I attended UPS interview, a lot of people will be there here roaming. Here Ashokanagar, there one person, here one person. They will be guiding you with this book, do not read this book. Then what you are, where you are staying here means he will not have any answer. Muft. So, when father is having genetical disease and mother is not having genetical disease, both got married, whether the child will get disease or not. Mathematics probability type of things will be there in 9.1, 9.2, 9.3. It is not genetics. It is not genetics. It is what is the probability of the child getting genetical disease if father is having the disease or mother is having. That we will be understanding. Why? Because anthropologist is a counsellor. 
understand this anthropologist is a counsel he will counsel hey, please don't marry for example andhra pradesh andhra pradesh is very famous for marrying uncle and niece marriages already third times you people are marrying within the family if third time also if you marry you no know, compulsory the next unnecessarily the, un, the fourth generation will suffer you know the big disease i am telling you big problem genetical disease why because child don't know anything when i was teaching some 7 8 years back i was teaching in one of academy when i was teaching this then one girl came near me and she was crying and she was telling she is physically disabled short dwarf and she came near me and she told sir to my father and my mother their uncle and niece my relatives told to this that you don't get marry why because if you get marry there is a chance that the baby might get genetical disease but my father and mother did not listen they got married but i am suffering sir they are happy only who are the sufferers children that is a big problem for our mistake other people should not suffer genetical disease who will suffer children will suffer so anthropologist will recommend hey please you don't get marry man you are already having genetical disease so unnecessarily the next generation in that way the counseling will be given in we will be understanding the genetic counseling in 9.1 9.2 9.3 and in 9.4 we will be understanding what are those genetical diseases like down syndrome edwards syndrome patau syndrome klein filter syndrome so that genetical disease we will be understanding means what symptoms and which community is suffering because of what because of what it might be because of uncle niece marriage or it might be because of cross cousin marriage or it might be because of parallel cousin marriage so understanding how to stop this genetical disease we will be studying in 9.1 9.2 9.3 9 and what are those diseases we will be studying in it is not biology it's an a counselor so counselor will tell don't get married please why because unnecessarily the next generation will suffer 9.5 race and racism you tell me caste is a problem to india and race is a problem to western world to a western world yes or no today also they they suffer barack obama told michelle obama told ofra winfrey told everyone told there is some sort of discrimination will be there towards so in 9.5 we will be studying about race and racism 100% it is there one case was filed against fair and lovely what is fair and lovely our women our girls fair and lovely couples and men also now name has been changed or not now what is the name glow and lovely why because fair means white color a case was been filed you are promoting what white color is it not racism means for me like black people like me whether we are waste that is the reason they change their name glow and lovely it is it's a case was been filed now another case is pending on men what is that fair and handsome <laughs> or fair and racism racism in chicago 1920 a very big riots happened in chicago in 1920 nearly 20000 black people were been killed civil war happened in united states of america between north and south that we will be studying in race and racism 9.6 9.7 9.8 we will be understanding about epidemic diseases ecological anthropology genetic markers so we will be studying about genetics that to mathematics point of view but not biology point of view 10th unit is about growth and development growth and development you tell me what are the factors responsible for a growth and development of a man you tell me your growth and development depended on what very good family background social and economical family background ink more society family background next hmm? nutrition what we eat what we eat that is the reason under nutrition over nutrition is there nutrition next cultural habits cultural habits also some people will not eat vegetarian some people will not eat non vegetarian once upon a time people not eating non vegetarians are more now people not eating vegetarians are more cultural habits is responsible for your growth and development or not may more education parenting 
नेक्स्ट एजुकेशन पेरेंटिंग नेक्स्ट सेम थिंग ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट वाट आर द फैक्टर्स जेनेटिकल नो जेनेटिकल इफ ई हेव ए जेनेटिकल डिजीज वाट एवर ई ईट वाट एवर सोशल इकोनॉमिक बैकग्राउंड ई हेव वेदर ई कैन एस्केप ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट जेनेटिकल इज मोर डेंजर जेनेटिक इज ऑलसो रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट सम पीपल विल बी देर दे विल ईट दिस मच ओनली बट दे विल हैव वेरी बिग स्टमक बाई सींग ही माइट बी ईटिंग सम पीपल वेरी थिंग टू फुल मिल्स जेनेटिकल सो दट इट्स नॉट अबाउट ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट वी विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट सो यू आर ए काउंसिलर दे विल कम नियर यू दे विल कम नियर आंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट दिस पर्सन इज सफरिंग वॉट एवर आई आई सपोर्ट दैम वॉट एवर आई गिव बट स्टिल द ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट इज दिस मच ओनली देन द आंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट विल रिफर सेवरल फैक्टर्स एंड विथ एग्जाम्पल्स ही विल बी क्लियरिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल माल्टा इज वन कंट्री फॉर एग्जाम्पल माल्टा इज वन कंट्री इन यूरोप they had a cultural habit early morning goat milk the goat should come near the entrance door then and there they will milk and they will drink the goat milk that is their culture then they understood they are getting fever very very rapidly very very rapidly very very rapidly they are getting fever they don't know why they are getting fever and then they understood that it is because of readily without boiling it they are consuming the milk of goat they are getting fever which is called as malta fever then they understood means what is the factor which is responsible for malta fever culture what is the factor which is responsible for malta fever in malta country culture for example there is a korava tribal community in madhya pradesh whatever it may be we will not put we will not eat salt whatever it may be it is our culture we will not consume salt if i don't consume salt what deficiency will have iodine deficiency if i have iodine deficiency what i will have goiter 70% of the korwa tribal people are having goiter what is the reason behind it culture their cultural habits their cultural habits i will tell you one example there is a tribal community called as kutia kond in odisha if you if you listen this your hair should come out kutia kond tribal people they have a culture they believe that when the mother is giving birth to the baby only mother baby and the spirits should be present they will send the mother into a hut they will close the door elder lady will come she will tie the hands she will tie the legs and she will also close the door and she will go she has to put her energy by herself she has to put the energy by herself till the baby is out and crying no one will come inside what is the chance of maternal mortality rate what is the chance of infant mortality rate what is the chance of maternal mortality rate what is the chance of infant mortality rate will be higher or low what is the reason behind it culture it is their culture so an anthropologist will recommend them anthropologist will create awareness among them with this examples hundreds of examples with this examples we have to make our answer more culture oriented it is not biology culture culture is responsible this much educated we are but still there is some sort of feeling hindu muslim or christianity feeling is there in the minds of the people or not yes why culture in spite of lot of vasudeva kutumbakam din ilahi all the religions are equal before the eyes of sultan but still that feeling is there why scheduled caste in spite of reservation in spite of development in spite of political mobilization in sts also in spite of all the development some sort of stigma is there in the minds of the upper caste or general category people are not yes why it is because of culture so problem how to solve the best solution to solve the problem is by culturally who will be telling an anthropologist will be telling that we will be discussing in the classroom program 11th unit menarchy menstrual cycle why because how the newborn baby menarchy for example once upon a time the menarchy age was 14 years onset of menstrual cycle is 14 years but now it is reducing 11.2 or 12 years only the menarchy age is coming but there are some tribal communities there are some communities menarchy will not come till 20 years what might be the factor behind it 
Menarche means onset of menstrual cycle. What might be the reason behind it? You tell me with your general knowledge. Nutrition. Absence of nutrition, 100 percent correct. No proper food. If no, when no proper food, I don't have blood only, then how I can go for menarche? How I will have a menstrual cycle? Why I will not have proper nutrition? My social background, my economical background, my cultural background, for example. Andaman Islanders, one tribal community, Onji, another name of them is Onji. When a woman is pregnant, they will have a proper partitioning of food. Only this foods we will eat, this foods we will not eat. So that our gods will feel very happy. A pregnant woman should eat more or she should ration it. Infant mortality is more. It's because of what reason? Culture reason. In that way, we will be understanding here, here also in 11th unit, menarche, fertility. Why? Because population, fertility, what are the factors responsible for fertility, fecundity in 11th unit? Not a biology point of view. Not a biology point of view. 12th unit. Applications of anthropology, this is very, very important. Applications of anthropology, very, very important. Applications of anthropology, for example, I will tell you, up to now what you will study means human weight, human height, bone weight, these all things you will be studying. You became an IPS officer, crime branch. You came, before you come, your vehicle come, tar, first your shoes will come, then your cap will come, lot of expectations, lot of whistles. Suddenly you came, you went to the crime scene, everyone are surrounded, then everyone moved. You are coming with IPS symbol here. You came, you took the dead body, you saw it. Height is somewhere around 6.2. Then you told, the dead body is of negroid. Number two, you saw the jaw dentition. And the dentition is protruding outside. Then you told, this might be a person who came from West African community. So, West African. Then you will call your local police station. Any missing case is there from any African community person is missing case, sir, one missing case is there, dead body is this. Applications of anthropology, forensic, forensics, crime detection, fingerprinting, canonthropometry, sports, what type of sports a individual should play based upon their physical appearance, physical, canonthropometry. DNA fingerprinting, nothing evidence is present. Only small blood mark is present. That is enough to find the DNA fingerprinting also we will be discussing in applications of anthropology. So, complete what we study, we will be applying in applications of anthropology. In this way, in paper 1, you will be having 12 units. In paper 2, you will be having 9 units. Hold together, it is 21. If you are perfect with this 21 units, no? After four months, by October 20, the syllabus will be properly completed, October 20. Every day, Monday to Saturday, the classes will be there from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And the classroom program will be from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Only explanation, no dictation of notes. 8.30 to 8.45, previous year question will be taken and will be explained on the same topic and 8.45 to 9, a question will be given and you have to, I will be explaining the structure and you have to write the answer then and there. By the time you are writing answer, any person is having doubts clearing, I will, any person is having doubts, I will be clearing the doubts. This will be the exercise from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. till October 20. I am consistent. I was consistent and I will be consistent. If you are consistent, this is the right platform. If you are judging, you are the person who will be losing it, not me. First thing, don't judge. Why? Because you are not perfect. Number two, once you decided, you have to go. Once you decided, you have to go. Whatever may be the consequence, whatever may be, you have to move, you have to move. You jumped into the well in traveling. Why I jumped? Means whether you will, you will go back or whether you will go into the well. You jumped, you are traveling. You got an idea. Why I jumped? Now you can go back or we will fall down. 
already you jumped then you have to think that how to escape but you cannot think i i should go back so in this way the program will be there i explained about the syllabus so what all i will be doing within 4 months by october 20 your syllabus will be properly completed every day answer writing practice will be there every day one question will be given and explained to you in the class then you have to write the answer and you have to submit will be evaluated every sunday there will be test weekly test overall 12 tests will be there each word in the syllabus will be covered not a single topic will be left i believe first syllabus should be completed properly each and every word in the syllabus will be covered nothing will be pending for every topic if you have 10 points enough and more i am telling you that you have to logically present the 10 points you have to logically present that's it for every topic in the syllabus copy of upsc you will be having 10 points 300 plus marks are guaranteed when when <coughs> when you are consistent when you are having attendance when you are writing daily answer and weekly test for example nidhi pai herself she told in the interview you can see for prelims for mains test series anthropology mains test series 90 days we will have a program those who cleared mains only for those who cleared mains in 90 days i kept daily test 70 tests she wrote and remaining 14 tests she did weekly means out of 90 84 she attempted how many she missed six the two daily she missed a classic example in front of you 300 plus is is possible but provided when you have conceptual clarity when you have very good answer writing skills when you have good english also i am telling you you have to improve your english also when you have good english and when you structure it and present it properly you will get 300 plus marks my classes i will be giving you five five resources everything is recorded number 1 classroom notes ppt i will be giving in the form of pdf number 2 two, two textbooks will be provided bring the textbooks uh sai bring textbooks anthropology textbooks two textbooks will be provided to you three for every unit value added content will be provided apart from class notes number four for 12 tests model answers will be provided for 12 tests fifth thousand case studies will be provided bullet points not lump sum i will not give more information i don't believe in giving more information bullet points to the point how much you have to remember how much you have to write that much only So five. Number one is classroom notes PDF. Number two, textbooks. Number three, value added content. Number four, model answers for the twelve tests and the five is. And if you clear prelims, you will be my priority. If you clear prelims, now you will be my highest priority. Why? Because you are part of classroom program. a uh, user friendly and service orientation approach obviously weekly test and answer writing practice and personal evaluation i will be evaluating and we will be also having one to one sessions on weekly tests on weekly tests we will be having one to one sessions how to improve your answers upsc standard evaluation no compromise on evaluation bottom to top approach bottom to top approach means i am accessible the good thing about me which i can openly tell is i am accessible means any time any any doubt anything i am accessible so that is very important i believe under promise and over delivery what is under promise and over delivery means your father told for hostel fees is 5000 he told he will be depositing 6000 rupees and he deposited 10000 rupees whether he will be jumping or not under promise over delivery how much he promised Six thousand. How much he delivered? So it's the same thing here, under promise and over delivery. Why? Myself. Everything is recorded. I am also engineer like you all, regular engineer. I am also engineer, sir. How many engineers are there? Tell me. How many humanities? I think these humanities are from that college only. general humanities means see, humanities are very less all are engineers i am also engineer i did my llb and llm i am a practicing advocate at hyderabad high court i did my pg in anthropology i am pursuing my phd but not completed it it is getting pending 
I attended UPSC interview three times. My marks are in the internet, you can see. I got very good marks, very good marks in 2014 in anthropology optional. I believed in matured model. What I believe means I don't believe in Guru Shishya model. I don't believe in Guru Shishya model. What I believe is functionalism. I am like Malnovisky, I am the advocate of Malnovisky. You will listen the class, till that time it is useful for you. So it is functionalism. So it is international model. How international model means? It's every class, every minute in my mind it will rotate that my lecture which I am delivering, the words which I am delivering should be quality. So that it will be useful for you one or the other context but should not go in the vein proper class notes, the PDFs, the five materials are very, very important. You can talk with any of the previous year, previous year students. See, the good reviews with respect to the classes you will get from previous students, not from TV, not from any other person. Only the person who attended and who went back, he will give you the correct review. Any institute when you are joining, first to take the review of previous students. I also did the same for my daughter when I am joining. I asked, I joined in this Bachman school. I asked only one thing, whether teacher is accessible or not. My daughter, how she is studying, I should know the progress. Who is a teacher? I want to talk to the teacher, not to the management. That is very, very important. Why? Because the teacher will deliver, the faculty will deliver. And I spoke with some of the previous students of that particular school then I joined. You also the same. Proper class notes, compulsory exams, I am telling you, writing, UPSC is writing, UPSC is not reading. Who told? UPSC is writing only, not reading. You have all rights, you can ask me any questions. My targets, my students should cross 300 plus marks as I told you. Dronacharya will become popular, became popular because of Arjuna. That should be the relationship between a teacher and a student. I believe the same. So, for that you should also commit, for that you should also be positive, for that you should also contribute, for that you should also put your energy. 30 percent is from the teacher, 70 percent is from you only. Everything teacher cannot give, I am telling you anywhere. Dronacharya also didn't made Arjuna totally. Dronacharya gave some hints, that hints are been properly catched by Arjuna. Spoon feeding will not work. Rat marna completely will not function here. You have to understand the subject. Conceptual clarity is very important. By hearting is zero. If anyone by heart, no, I am telling you will not get any rank. You will not clear prelims also. Rat marna, rot learning is not at all allowed. How to choose an academy? These are all the things. If you have any doubts, I explained you about the syllabus and this is one thing I want to explain. My favorite person is, his name is Sachiro Honda. This person was rejected by Toyato, not ranker, not UBSC ranker he is. He is rejected by Toyato company. Then he got angry. He got angry and he did not break the glasses. What he did? He made himself skilled. You didn't clear prelims. You should you should understand why I didn't clear prelims. Why you are not getting result and that skill you have to develop. That skill you have to develop. I am telling you openly, I am telling you openly. In my very first attempt, I went to UPS interview, but some well, I am writing my test. Everyone criticized me that my English was very, very poor. But I managed to go to UPS interview. My English was very, very poor. By third attempt, I became perfect in English. Means I reskilled, skilled. I am telling you openly. Why? Because I come from a regional language medium up to some class. How, how, how I able to do the same way? You can also able to do it the same way. This person he was able to do. He was rejected by Toyota badly. Get out, you unskilled person. Then he became a competitor for Toyota and dominated Toyota also. We should be like this, you know. Revenge means not beating. Revenge means not gun. <laughs> Revenge means by skill. Revenge means by success. This person by success. So, in this way, the program will be there and the classes will start from 
next monday 7 am to 9 am wednesday you will have fundamentals class that will be in the app in the app it will be there we will be giving tomorrow complete accessibility will be given and wednesday will be fundamentals some ter terminologies i will be explaining about terminologies all the important terminologies will be discussed on wednesday so that what are all the big big terms are there 50 terms are there i am telling you 50 terms if you know the meaning of the 50 terms your your journey is easy 50 anthropology terms i will be discussing on wednesday and from monday onwards we will start our journey that is the reason june 18th to october 20th four months you have to be very rigorous if four months if you are attentive you are attempting you are attending the classes your anthropology will be easy only requirement is attendance either offline or online but i recommend very strongly offline any doubts any doubts you have more professors understand the syllabus focus areas what are the focus areas anthropological thought is focus area tribal india is focus area know where to read from these books again i am telling you these are the two books which we will be providing you in this these two books will be there paper one and paper two this is paper two and this is paper one paper two is sir it's not it's thin with this you will be getting case studies those case studies you have to add how to add i will tell in the classroom you don't worry about that current affairs also i will add in the classroom you no need to worry about that and these two textbooks what sir what is a unique about these two textbooks i compiled i'm openly declaring i didn't author it i didn't return it i compiled for example dominant caste is good in which book in which book the material is good homo erectus is good in which made in which book those all i compiled into these two books means if you are reading these two books means you are reading the market available all the books topic wise topic wise selected and been compiled into two books paper one and paper two focus areas where to read from follow the honest mentor blindly for a beginner i am telling you don't judge one benefit is there what is the benefit if you don't clear also you can throw the stone on this fellow told will you will you will you finally at least you will have one choice you can be free but see when you are very when you follow the mentor blindly if i also follow a mentor blindly he is also that mentor also will be a human being one or the other day if he is cheating also one or the other day he will understand this much good follower compulsory i have to help him or her once you decide your mentor believe go on you will get success anyone anyone this is truth curiosity to be maintained writing practice is must see this writing practice is must for a fresher for senior also writing practice senior i already read sir some students will be there i already i know being down to earth known is drop unknown is ocean for senior more to read being down to earth is very important realization more to learn that is the reason you didn't got rank revision revision is very very important for seniors i discussed about the anthropology syllabus and if you are preparing for civil services means first you understand that you will be getting salary but still you are called as indian administrative service, service. it is service it is not job software job software professional railway employee these are the words which you use no railway employee group 3 group 4 group group 2 group 1 also group 1 employee but only for all india service it is called as service doing your duty itself is a service you no need to do anything more if you do your duty it is called as service only for three things indian administrative service indian police service forest service why because you will be having enormous powers you know an ias ips ifs will have enormous powers enormous powers you will think politicians will have politicians will have but however ias ips ifs also will have the powers for the nation service orientation you will get recognition you will get privileges one car will come with what bulb 
with sound if you, and position is changing not immediately slowly slowly contacts most important is contacts after one point of time what is important you know not money contacts and job security article 311 of the constitution so you are anthropology we will be taking care by october 20 then what you do november december you do revision of anthropology january first onwards you prepare for prelims why because clearing prelims is becoming tough which is proved now one hour back results came so prelims is also tough it is becoming so from my side free advice muft advice is csat to do from beginning csat is becoming tough so once you settle down by july july 10th you start doing csat daily one one hour at the time of february march again you do the revision csat also don't get don't compromise with csat so any doubts you can ask me the timing of the class is fixed to 7 am to 9 am very fresh optional should go in the fresh it's not about the class it's about your concentration it's about the quality it's about the content 7 am and 9 am is confirmed any more doubts yes indian revenue service also yes all the services but the bigger are this all india services no bigger are this all india services indian revenue service indian postals all civil services examination all our services only service so any time any doubts wednesday we will have one more session it will be in the app it will be in the app all the fundamentals will be decided no need to read any ncert books with anthropology i will be covering in the classroom only don't be in a hurry day on day day on day day on day day on day you will improve but the only requirement is on the first day on the second day i have lot of experience in the first 10 days how you are you have to be in the last 10 days also then you will get the rank first 10 days sir tell me question sir only one question ah only one to two questions the same question you have to ask in the last 10 days also that person will be the winner it is the consistency yes regular classes will be from monday next monday wednesday we will have fundamentals class all the fundamentals of anthropology terms terminologies will be discussed okay if required we'll take one more class but from next monday onwards regular classes you have to be ready mentally by next monday